Hello, folks. Um, this is Kiki. I haven't posted up a video for a while, and that's because I have a whole lot of footage I'm going through. Uh, but we'll go ahead and try this uh, preparation for the assault mission. Uh, this is, from this point on is when I'm blind, and as you can see, I've already died once. But uh, from here on, it's uh, blind. I normally don't play to this far when I we just goof around because the last mission normally annoys the heck out of me. But you need a, you need a sniper and you need a heavy weapon specialist and uh, pretty much that's all you missed. Uh, I haven't gotten too far into this. Uh, pretty much it's one of those crazy you have 50,000 auto triggers and you have to get to point A to point B. But unfortunately, I don't make it because there is some very bad gameplay mechanics, and that's what this video is about. Uh, it is basically showing poor level design, I would say, how you put it. Uh, I mean, they do really great at the start here. Uh, not just auto triggers, but ambushes, uh, sequenced enemies, stuff like that. Kind of gives you the feel that you're actually assaulting a base. But then they do some really retarded stuff, and uh, you'll see what I mean when we get there. So pretty much you guys get to see me just have some fun and have some hectic. But like I said, uh... I don't complete the mission this time around, uh, and it's due to uh, a stupid kind of what would you call it? <laughs> it's, uh, game ending glitch uh, number two. Uh, but at least this one, I, I guess, makes sense, but not fully. Uh, but it's just due to bad level design. Anyway, I have can't I have no idea what the sign says, but it's okay. We don't need a linguist. So I'm not worried about the sign. And here we go again with the those annoying little boxes. It says I'm not a heavy weapons expert. Well I was getting the sniper rifle, so too bad. But as you can see here, there's plenty of auto triggers. So uh, if you, this one's more to Sarge's Hero style gameplay, uh, where depending upon which angle you go and uh, where you step, can trigger any amount of set of enemies for you. So what you want to do is you just want to take your time and clear your way through. Try to set off as many triggers as you can, clearing out enemies. But we'll go ahead and take a break with Stout now. And you notice they've given, they're giving us ample ammo, like tons of bazookas and mortars and stuff. That's not always a good sign. <laughs> but this is. Oh, and it looks like Shadow just took somebody out from the side. But I, and that's what you can see what I was talking about earlier about auto triggers. But it actually is not nice to see that the NPC helps out and takes somebody out for you. Rather than this stands there like a block and a log. And like I said, I, I did bring that up in a previous video, but this was the actual first video of me showing off that they actually do shoot. So, yay, I'm glad I caught that. And like a typical Sarge's Heroes level, just take your time, clear out everything, no rush. And he's on fire. That's kind of corny. And there's a gray tank up there. And we got jumped from the side. Like I said, you gotta be careful. Damn auto triggers.
I mean, one minute they won't show anything there, next minute, wham. And there's a tan tank. <laughs> so we're done that round. And it looks like there's a Jeep up ahead. Yep, there's a Jeep. We'll worry about that Jeep later. Sometimes they have, yeah, it's triggered to where it'll stop right there. So he's not much of a threat. Let's go ahead and clear out the other side. And I saw this gr this uh, gray tank over here. Yeah, yeah, we know. I mean, as you noticed, uh, it says if I fix this, I can use this. Uh, well, shit, I was a mechanic, so we can use this. I try to be sneaky this time and do a double auto trigger on you. Plus a jeep and two tanks, <laughs> all triggered on this. So it's actually tri uh, triple uh, triple auto spawn on that one. You'll see what I'm talking about with the tanks when they get up there. You know, because they're like really, really slow and they take their time. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Yes, yeah, so you got that one tank there, and then you'll see another tank get right up behind it. Yep. Unfortunately, these like are super armored tanks for whatever reason. They actually take a lot longer than what's typically required. Plus, you have the, the tan tank shooting its butt. <laughs> so you have a tank shooting his own buddy's tank, and the tanks have like 50 million armor. <laughs> okay, I gotta be careful with this jeep. Yeah, it's still aggroed behind the buildings there. That's another good thing if you can take multiple approaches. Is you can set up your shots. Don't think we took out the jeep for whatever reason. But anyway, see, I told you there's another tank behind that tank that was shooting the other tank. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? it? Normally it takes one mortar shell, but this one decides he wants to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, and he's gonna take at least two mortars. There's the first one. And there's the second one. And he's still shooting. It took two more bazookas. <laughs> well. Okay, now we got this green tank here. And wouldn't you know it, but this gray tank is actually the gr game ending glitch. Number two. But we'll show that in a second. First, we still gotta clear out the area. We also have a new buddy for us on this mission. You might remember him from previous uh, installments of World at War, but uh, he's been nerfed a lot. And we'll show him off in all his glory when we get there. But I just wanted to drop in that little teaser that our, that one of our favorite little enemies is back from a long time. Now you notice most of the time, if you have uh, a tank or something repaired like this, it'll say "Bring your partner." Uh, it didn't this time. Then that's where the glitch happens. Because it auto plugs you into the tank and you can't switch partners. Oops. <laughs> so, and that could be caused by either A, uh, two people with repair skill, or B, uh, the game 
wasn't beta tested properly, and that's what caused it. And unfortunately, I didn't find out this was a game in a glitch until the very end. So you guys see me blasting stuff, the smithereens. Unfortunately, uh, tank damage is once again not coded very properly because, as you can see there, like there was direct hits on that, and the guys didn't die. They suffered the uh, final front syndrome of being like stupidly strong when they shouldn't be, and even if we machine gun, they still aren't dying. Uh, showing again bad coding skills, but the minute we get up there, you know, notice how many shots it's taking to take all this stuff out. Also, you see that guy way back there? You see that little puff of smoke? Yeah, you saw it. And that sort of tank, I just fired that tank bullet in it. Did you see him? See if you can look at him again. Bet you can see him this time. Yes, it's our buddy the Mormon. Been a while since we've seen our little buddy. But like I said, he's been nerfed. Instead of hitting at least two times out of the screen, he actually has the same range as you do. Meaning that his AI can be slightly abused. And as you can see here, again, this is just poor game testing. There's a guy right there, yet he's not dead. And you've seen me just point blank, just blam right on him. You, even these barrels are taking way too much than what they should be. Yeah, these guys drop like, well, sort of. And there's another glitch right there. It's the common wall glitch of the walls being at least a little bit wider than what they appear to be. But we just move like even the slightest touch, and there we go. And then we have yet another weird glitch. Now you notice they can't shoot me, right? You also notice that we're at the end point. But notice they can't shoot me. Now watch this. I'll get out my machine gun. I gotta move myself a little bit in position here. Yeah, I can kill them. But they can't kill me. Watch, even this guy. They shoot the wall, but I can shoot them. Isn't that silly? And there's yet another bad sign of player testing. Now we've killed every single enemy on the screen that we could possibly think of. And guess what? There is no prompt. <laughs> uh, like I said here. And now we got some faulty tank mechanics. Works better with a controller, but it doesn't. But they didn't think about the placement of these boxes before they did before they lo designed the level. But anyway, see the objective point is I go into this pit. And there you go, in the level. But I can't because the level broke. Notice there's no where is your partner? There's no uh there's no exiting your tank, there's no controls for nothing. You're stuck. And then it becomes even more of a pain in the butt to turn the tank around. Which again proves bad player testing. Like I said, uh, I know that I failed this level, and see, as you can see here, you can already tell I've failed the mission. 
And there's no enemies over here. Absolutely nothing. And we'll go ahead and take our tank over here. See, no enemies over here. I mean, we've killed everything we can possibly kill here. So it says, still says endpoint is there, but unfortunately, because I can't switch to my partner, and there is no where is my partner prompt, it makes me totally confused. So okay, let's go ahead and drive to our partner. Let's see if parking my tank next to my partner would add him into it. Da, 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 da. So like I said, it's it's not too hard to drive the tank. It's just you got to get used to the controls with a keyboard. But uh, see here here we go. We're back to Shadow over here. Now we've parked the tank right next to Shadow. Unfortunately, we can't switch to him. And oops, we just ran him over. Game over. <laughs> and later. <laughs> but like I said, I just wanted to show you the game in a glitch. So later.